Good afternoon, my YouTube brethren. I have a surprise for you today, but first let me just take you around and show you a couple of quick things in the garden, and then I'll get you to the unveiling of our new uh, slash old project. So stick around. First off, we got a full crop of plants. We got tomatoes and cucumbers and peppers and uh, squash and zucchinis and all kinds of stuff ready to go in the garden and it is hardening off. It's been hardening off for a little bit because I haven't been able to get it out into the garden yet. I've uh, got the garden all tilled and uh, working on the Bermuda grass issue. So that's been my, my primary, sorry about that, that's been my primary concern over the past Oh, two weeks. I told y'all it was 100 by 100. That's not true. It's 100 foot by about 80 foot. So I've got two rows. You can see kind of the middle there. These are 50 foot beds. So that's 50. And then that side over there is also 50. And then it goes about 80 foot. So it's going to be um, 18 rows in each half. So 36 rows, rows total. And then over here this fall, we'll have a greenhouse put in. Um, and so that's that's kind of the, the working plan. But all these guys, all these plants have got to go out. And so hopefully we can get that done this week. I'm waiting on irrigation piping and I'm waiting on fencing materials. So all the UPS and everything is running slow. And so that's what the holdup has been. It's really frustrating having to wait because these things are, are they, need, they need to get in the ground here pretty quick. But that's where we are with the, uh, with the market garden. Now for the unveiling check out what made it all the way back from albuquerque oh yes in all of its splendor the bass boat from hell is officially back in my possession so big shout out to my friend earl brought it back to us and i am really excited about getting to work on this stupid boat all right if y'all don't remember this boat i will put a link in the description to the original video this is the bass boat from hell this is an hp 120 skeeter bass boat and it is in horrible horrible shape somebody put latex paint all over it and the transom is rotted on it the engine's no good uh, compartments need to be replaced the flooring needs to be replaced and and it's just going to be an exciting disastrous project all at the same time so we're going to take the whole top cap off and we're going to redo the motor and redo the transom it's going to be a complete tear down from start to finish so uh, i'm excited that this little thing made it all the way back from albuquerque shout out to my friend earl for he had a, a road trip to somewhere out east and he just got on I-40 and brought this sucker to me. I met him in Amarillo. So I'm excited about having it back in my possession and excited about tearing into it. Unfortunately, uh, because of time and money constraints, this is going to take me about six months to do is kind of what I've calculated. So hopefully you tune in, uh, like and subscribe, all that stuff if you want to if you want to watch along with us as we take this thing apart, completely redo it and get it up to... Uh, up to snuff so watch the other video this is just kind of a teaser on the what we've got going on and also the next couple of days we've got a we got two boat videos coming out the first one is we're almost done almost done with my dad's transom video on his old skeeter so we'll have um, part five to that coming out and also I've got a boat product that I'm going to share with you guys for waxing and polishing and cleaning your boat uh, all in one type system I'll put that out as well. So just a little teaser video. Hope you guys are doing well. God bless y'all. Have a great, safe afternoon. We will catch you on the next video.